11 left up from 13. 11 to 7, go ahead then. Yeah, left on just out in 204 West and looking at that mid rotation growth spot. Uh, any chance you can come out and have a, have a bit of a look? Yeah, I can come out um, now. Is that the 30 year old block there? Yeah, that's right. Out yeah, on Western Creek Road there. No worries, I'll see you soon. 11 by. Okay, thanks. 13 by. I'm Lester Jack, I'm the a regional forest manager for HQ Plantations. My role is to sustainably manage these quality plantations from little seedlings through to mature saw logs like this, and that's to provide a return to investors as well as continue the enjoyment for the general public for future generations. HQ Plantations manages some 350,000 hectares of plantations and forest across Queensland, and these Aracaria plantations form part of that. My name's Dan O'Regan, I work with the Inland Region HQ Plantations and I'm the Planning Manager. I really enjoy working in these forests, uh, I've been a, been a part of it for all of my working life for the last 15 or so years in South East Queensland as part of working in these forests. Uh, I really enjoy seeing them develop over time from young seedlings through, through the rotation through to a forest like this that we see here in front of us today. Uh, it's really special watching them develop over time. Working in these forests is a long-term commitment to the tradition that started in the early 1920s when these plantations were first established. And since I was a child, I've had a strong interest in, in the forest of South East Queensland, especially the Aracaria Forest. I regularly visited the Bunya Mountains, which encompassed a large area of Aracaria, uh, native Aracaria species. And that really um, interested me how well they performed in a, for a long-lived species. And, um, and the majestic nature of them towering above the surrounding rainforest. Aracaria is uh, really special to me. I have the pleasure of working with it during the day in my working life and I also go home, work with it at home to create furniture which, which fills my home as well. It's, uh, it's a great versatile product. The Aracaria timber has a great warmth to it. It's uh, very fine grained, really appealing, visually appealing, uh, which makes it great as use in furniture and structural elements within the room. It really brings a room to life. Uh, it's also a versatile timber. It's used in a wide range of products. Uh, it's got great strength to weight ratios. Uh, and it's also food grade timber, so it doesn't have any saps, resins or, or odours. There's a long history of research and genetic improvement in Queensland forestry. Originally we went to the native stands and we collected the most outstanding trees. The seed from those was planted into field trials and those field trials were assessed and the best material was selected from those. And that occurred on a cycle over many, many years to end up with a cohort of the best genetics that we have. So it's about 100 different genotypes that we plant across our orchards and we've selected them for growth, so vigour, wood properties, straightness and also internode length, which is the distance between the whorls of the tree, which gives you nice, clear, not free wood. So this nursery produces all the Aracaria species for uh, HQP and this year we anticipate planting 500,000 seedlings which starts the growing cycle into the plantation forestry. At the moment we are trying to produce all our seed from control pollination which is where we've selected the mums, we collect the pollen from the dads and we apply that to the specific mums. So we produce families that are very specific to our needs and we target them to sites so that when they go to the field they grow and um, they can handle the, any conditions that come their way.
So after the onset of, of spring and summer soaking rains, we hand plant the Araucaria out in the field with a grubber. Uh, following this, it's, it's followed by a, a number of tens to keep the plant up above the competing weeds. The higher productivity areas are then selected and we prune those areas to produce knot free timber which uh, is, is really regarded by industry and users alike. So Araucaria being a rainforest species is extremely uh, susceptible to fire. So even a, a mild fire, a small running fire through the, through the plantation will damage and, and eventually kill the tree. So as managers of the forest, it's, it's really critical that we manage it for, for fire protection. So we've got an extensive break of, uh, of fire breaks around the outside of the plantations. And we also have a, a network of prescribed burn areas where we burn the, the dry eucalypt forest to reduce the fuel loads in those areas. And this is also combined with a natural protection layer where around the plantations there's a retained rainforest scrub around the outside and any approaching fires that come towards those scrubs uh, reduce in intensity and, and often are put out by that, that natural barrier. Our vision is to be a world leading forest grower and part of that is having a make sure we maintain a, a safe and healthy uh, workplace. Eric area, uh, it's all about appearance grade uh, products. So this is actually our premium log here that's a, a pruned butt log. Uh, so these logs will uh, be used for sliced veneer um, as well as uh, high grade plywood production, uh, that sort of thing. Wood very, very similar to this would have gone into the Melbourne Recital Centre. And the reason it's very popular is because each panel is, um, looks identical. Yep. So because of the very even grain in the Araucaria, um, they're able to they don't have to match the grain on each panel, so each panel has got very little features in it. It's very important that we have a focus on our management systems and also focusing on the soil and water resources, carbon cycles, cultural heritage values. All of these are key to, to our ongoing sustainable management of the resource. My goal is to return the forest back into a better state for the future generations and we do that by, by careful planning in that interrotation period so we can have forests like this into the future. Araucaria is one of the only native species that has been commercialised on a plantation scale. So for it to be a, a local Queensland species, does so well in our conditions, survives incredible drought and for us to have taken the very best and then improved it so much that we get those beautiful plantations and lovely timber is a very special story. Stewardship is critical to HQ plantations and as such we have dual certifications. We have Responsible Wood and Forest Stewardship Council certification and holding those demonstrates to our customers that we're sound managers of these forests 